Hi guys, welcome back to Return of the Nerd, I'm Gary, so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell and give me a like, okay? Right, so today uh, Queenie and I went out to do some Christmas shopping and killed two birds with one stone. We picked up a lot of stuff from the wholesalers, so we'll just go through. Some are new and some are restocks. Um, We'll start with, how about we start with G.I. Joe, all right? So we've got, one, two, three, four. We've got four new G.I. Joe uh, characters in. Uh, the first one is the female character, Helix, with her samurai swords looking pretty hot. You know, like, I think the, the female characters in the G.I. Joe classified line are a lot nicer than the, the female characters in the Black Series and the Star Wars. Like, if you look over here, I picked out another two that we have. These have been restocked, okay? So if you missed out, we still have Shooter from the Night Force line. Uh, that's Jody, number 90. And we still have uh, Viper, who was number 88. I mean, look at, look at, look at, look at the accessories on these. They look wicked. Um, yeah, I really wish the female characters in the Star Wars uh hasbro star wars would just like i don't know just have a bit more you know oomph a bit more something a bit more exciting to them um so we've got helix the second one is grunt he's a he's general clayton hawk abernathy uh i really like uh is 103 check out on the back here look it's he's got the patch yo joe that is really cool and i love the helmet with the star on it this is brilliant so we got uh, Hawk, he's in town. Next one uh, is one of those uh, B.A. Baracus psychopaths, uh, that, you know, with a big mama gun, tattoos, and a mohawk. And uh, <laughs> he looks like he's insane. He's got a big Rambo knife. I don't know much too much about uh, G.I. Joe, you know, about the characters, because I never read the comic books. I never, I didn't watch the cartoons growing up, because I'm British. And we never had G.I. Joe in the 70s. Uh, I like his tattoos. I bet some of you guys out there, you have G.I. Joe tattoos, don't you? Because like most of the Star Wars collectors I know on Instagram have covered their bodies in uh, Star Wars tattoos. Right, the last one we got for G.I. Joe is Shockwave. So Jason Shockwave. This guy's pretty cool. Looks like the riot police. He's got a big shield. He's got like uh, he's got a really nice baton and uh, just yeah tons of accessories. This one's number what's this one oh five. So those four are all new and people some people have already prepaid for them. So yours will be shipped out first. And um, on is it December the first? I'll just read this out because on December the first we're getting one two three four five another five Joe items new okay so december 1st we will have buzzer uh cobra copperhead cobra officer the trouble bubble and we'll also have the fire team which has three figures in the pack and someone else asked me uh do, can you guys get hold of uh, the strike force team strike team and the answer is yes Oh, we're just waiting for the wholesaler to give us the all clear and then we can order. All right. So that's cool. Also over here, we've got more of the snow serpent. Best figure of the year. This is my opinion. I, I just think this is the best figure of the whole year. I love it. So we've got more snow serpent. We've got more, um, more tripwire. And we've got more. Mr. Chuckles, okay, so yeah, our G.I. Joe stock is looking pretty awesome right now. Can't wait for the other new stuff to come in on December the 1st. Right, let's have a look at some of the Star Wars. Um, let's have a look at, right, down here we got, these are the very last three. I'll hold them up. The Chewbacca Life Day TVC, the, uh, the exclusives. These are our final three, and I'm pretty sure... So we are not going to be able to get any more. So that's it. Once these three have gone, you'll never see them again. Again, they're quite hard to get hold of. So we've got three left. And I noticed that the card backs on these are a lot thicker than some of the card backs. 
I was I was kind of like really annoyed with the the first two or three waves of TBC that we got this year because the car backs the quality were appalling. They were really thin. They were creased. They were bent. They were they were like the boxes that they came in the cases was was so small that the bubbles had actually like pressed against the cars and there were these in these uh lines on 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 like there'll be a line on Chewie's face and I was like. It was so fucking hard to sell them, you know. But these ones lately are in really freaking good condition. I think it's, it's the Boba Fett figures that came out, those comic art edition ones, Paka, really nice. These ones, nice. And the last, the last uh, wave was really cool as well. So the, they've improved the quality control. Um, the new, the new wave will come soon as well, won't that? That's December fourteenth. Or 13th? 1st. December the 1st. Oh, oh, okay. So on December the 1st, which is like literally next week, we're going to get the next TVC wave. And I do hope that the, the card backs and the bubbles are consistent, like high quality, like these ones. Um, so for TVC, yeah. Also for TVC, we still have a couple of these left. All right. So we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi, the, the Duel. Darth Vader Jewel's End. It's the showdown. So we've got two left. That's it. And uh, yes, we are going to get the uh, Darth Revan and HK Droid. That's coming in when, Queenie? December. First. So that's also coming in de December 1st. Awesome. All right. So we actually we have some Star Wars coming in on December the 1st too, right? That's a lot of stuff. Um, we, if, if there's anyone there that's really stuck and can't get the retro collection from Disney Store... We have the New Hope, the second one in that set, okay, with the Jawa, Tuscan, etc. We've got plenty of these left, just contact us. And we have been helping um, collectors to find the Return of the Jedi uh, six pack, and it's been very difficult, but we've managed to get how many? Like, I think we've got 15 so far. And my list has like got over 30 people on it, so I'm like. I'm going to keep going, trying to just source them from all over the place. And I think that's pretty much it today. Um, yeah, Queenie, we got these as well. Why did you order more Inquisitors? Popular. Are they? We just, <laughs> these, My opinion. Well, these just suddenly turned up. We got a whole bunch of uh, the Fifth Brother and the Grand Inquisitor. So He just came to Taiwan. A lot of people. This want guy, the actor, just came to Taiwan. Make video. Oh, people well, wanted to buy movie. this and then they wanted to sign it. Yeah. Ah, got it. Okay. Oh, very smart. Okay, you're one step ahead of me. Good. I like that. And uh, what else we got here? Oh, um, yeah. I found this on my desk. Queenie, do you want to explain why this is on my desk? <laughs> why? Why I need to? Explain? I didn't buy it. Who? Why? What's this got to do with our store? Your collector. Well, it says that I can um, dress her up, and she can look like this. I mean, you, I mean, you want to me like this? Oh, I'd love you to look like this. That's that's like super cute. Um, yeah. Well, maybe the Black Series could learn some lessons uh, from 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 whatever line this is. I think it's from Japan. I oh, mean. Indeed. Yeah, look at the accessories you get for this. I guess, how much did you pay for this? Look, I... 39... Thir thir $39 dollars, yeah. which is like like nothing. It's like five pence. It's like one, not even one buck. Look at all the accessories, man. Come on, Black Series. Accessories. Well, okay, should I do an unboxing of this? You're weird. Oh, and uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving again to everybody. I'm wearing my American football shirt. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Dolphins fan. I, uh, the first uh, NFL game that I watched, I was a teenager. When I was about 14, I stayed out really late at night. I lied to my mum and dad and told them um, they thought I'd gone to bed. But I, I snuck downstairs and I, and I put on Channel 4 and I watched... Um, the Chicago Bears just completely slaughter the New England Patriots. And uh, that was when uh, the fridge was playing. And I saw that and I was like, I want to fucking do that. 
And then I started playing, um, I got really obsessed with uh, American football and I started playing. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, I'm, I, like, I like the Dolphins and I think they're playing tomorrow. So I'm going to try and catch the game. And uh, uh, that's it. Oh, and I bought this today. This is my stress reliever when Hasbro pissed me off because Starkiller, <laughs> fucking Starkiller. I've been waiting for Starkiller for like almost four months. And they always say, next week, next week, next week. You, you're making me look like an idiot. So now they've said, oh, we're sorry. I'm like, okay, like, how many times are you going to say sorry? How many times are you going to say next week? November 28th, which is next week on Tuesday. We will officially be able to pick up uh, Starkiller, the convention, the SDC one. And I've got like a list of about 30 people who have like hung on in there and they're waiting. So you guys, thank you so much. And I've been using this so I don't lose my shit with Hasbro, okay? Right. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll talk to you in the next one.